What's good? It's your bro Lo, and I'm bringing you guys another saucy trading video. I'm about to just go over a weekly outlook video. You you guys know the deal. You guys know what I do. So uh, let's get right into it. So first, I'm about to go over GU. Uh, GU. Let's see what's going on with GU. So GU. GU had came up and it had ran just a little bit of liquidity right here. And I'm kind of looking. I don't know why I copied that. I'm kind of looking for GU to possibly make a run down lower and um, come into a discount array. Now, I don't know exactly what discount it could come to. Maybe it could come into this hidden order block right here and then um, possibly make a low, uh, possibly start heading higher. Or I think it could just dip down right under this low. So you have this low right here. It could dip down into this low maybe come into this area right here let me go ahead and mark this out too i like this better pd array right here instead of this one because this has um you know this this old low uh sitting right right by it so um i kind of like that better but i am going to go ahead and mark this up too because i i do want to see what price does in here as well you know what i'm saying you might you might have your your uh pois that you're looking for but sometimes you'll miss out on a lot because you're waiting for it to come into like a deep discount or a deep um or a higher premium you know what i mean so it's better to wait on this so that's what i'm looking for i'm gonna wait until gu comes down into this and possibly go higher let me go to the one hour scale in a little bit and see what else that we have so you can see that gu um today during this bank holiday you can see the price section we came down it came into this discount right here and kind of tapped into we may equal lows right here so yeah i'm definitely looking for this to get ran and maybe come like i said come into here and then run higher i don't know if this would be the end of this bull run that we've been in been on with gu i think we could go higher um let's see i mean we could go lower from here but if we start going lower then i would like to see um lower lows get made you know what i mean i would like to see this low resistance liquidity to get taken out but since we came down and we failed to make this lower low i could see this high potential this is my drawn liquidity you know what i mean so i'm technically bullish until you know it shows me that <laughs> we're not bullish so if i start seeing uh uh trending uh bearish order flow then i'll kind of change my mind once we uh you know go down especially if we break this low right here if we break this low right here then i'll definitely be more bearish than anything you know what i mean uh based off the four hour and uh based off the four hour uh time frame higher time frame context so yeah that's what i'm thinking with gu let's see if i can see something on the 15 minute real quick okay so as you can see with the 15 minute we came into this bullish this bearish order block right here tap right into that and then we started making uh lows and there we started making lows um what did we tap into right here i don't know exactly it's kind of messy i don't know exactly what we tapped into here this is all central this is all the bank holidays price section right here so it's, it's, it's kind of weird so um i would like to see uh price technically get down to this low so we could frame a trade for tomorrow off of this area possibly and that's what i'm looking for but i don't know it depends on what price does so like say if price comes into this area i'm not gonna uh, pay attention too much to these wicks right here this is you feel me if you see long wicks like that you really don't want to pay attention to that much pay attention to the bulk of the volume of the candles so um i would like to see gu possibly come up into here and then uh make a low and then uh start heading lower that's what i like to see i don't know if if it's going to do that exactly you could kind of refine your area and figure out refinements to look for a lot of people like the the most extreme you know what i mean and some people just like doing the breakers but um i'm kind of in the middle you know what i mean kind of take the median of it so i could you could look for this for it to come up higher maybe come up into this and then head lower since this is like a a, a, a higher pre, higher uh premium compared to all the price section that that has been doing and then look for it to come lower so that's what i could look for tomorrow um yeah that's what i could look for tomorrow to come down and at least come into this area right here the reason why i like this area a lot is because we ran 
this high and this high right here and then we had a drop now the only thing is that it's not my a typical a setup to where i'll just put a sell limit right here because it, it didn't leave clear imbalance and it also even though it left, it left some highs to to uh, buy side liquidity to take out and pair with it like right here as well that's pretty good too so this is more like a b slash setup because you got the stop run you have a breaker structure you have liquidity to win um and then but you don't have that that clear feg you know what i mean so um that's i'm, I'm gonna look for it to come into here and then uh look for a lower time frame confirmation to uh, go lower so let's go to eu now let me gather my train of thought see what's going on so with eu I was looking for buys in this area, most likely uh, right here, maybe lower. They could come lower into this uh, bullish order block right here. And you got liquidity sitting above it, um, right above it. And then also these uh, this low down here, because this is a a uh, a better disc, not a better discount. It's a better discount, but I really don't like this area at the same time. So, um, I, you know, I don't know what price is going to do now. Looking at price, right? If you look at structure, right, you have this low to this high and made a higher low right here. And then it made a lower high when it came and mitigated something inside of here. And then we had a drop. So my initial thought was after we came up here to run this low. And since we were up here, this is what my goal was, which we ran here. OK, we ran that and we closed below it. Right. So overall, through the, even though through this through this range right here, it's really not much of a range, but it's a range. It's not much of a range to me. It's still clean order flow because we still ran into this low. Right. We still ran this low. So um, what I'm thinking is that price can do whatever it wants. But my whole entire context is still bearish on a higher time frame. So it could price can come down here and then run higher. I would expect this low to stay then run higher or you know it could run higher fill in some of this feg and then move lower or it could just drop from right here and move lower but like i said overall order flow wise my context is still um bearish so with that being said um i'm thinking that price could come in lower i would like to see these highs get ran like i said because you have this double top right here these highs get ran and then you know it could do whatever it want you know what i mean it could do whatever it want but i would like to see that get ran if it comes lower this would be a nice you know um bullish order block to play off of but it could run that and come deep into a discount and then move higher i don't know you know what i mean we don't know but i'm just paying attention to what price does in these certain areas but that's overall what i'm looking for once price comes up into here into this feg you have this breaker right here um and it could run lower that's a higher time frame perspective you know what i mean so yeah but yeah, I do want to see, like I said, EU come into here and possibly go higher. We'll see what happens since we have this these clean areas right here. And it could just come into here instead. So I'm going to leave that marked out as well. All right. Uh, going to, let's do US 30. So US 30, I took a trade today on us 30 the initial thought was right we're in this four hour order block range so this is a four hour order block right here that is playing off of right here so um my context is that you know price is bullish and it could it could make a higher high but right now it's giving me um enough it's giving me sell vibes you know what i mean just from looking at how it's it's hardly making a higher high like it's, it's playing around in this area right here but i'm still overall you know what i'm saying um bullish compared to this range but right now i think we could get sales to come lower into a uh into a possible discount but if we do fail to if we do come too low i, I, I don't know how strong these lows will, will hold you know what i mean so what i'm thinking is what i thought was that price was coming into here because for one you have this stop rate right here so this is a high that got ran right then you had a drop down you had a break of structure here. Most people are visual, visual. So let me right here. So a break of structure here, right? We came to this low mitigated here. We had liquidity to induce right here. The inducement, 
liquidity to to induce and then we came into this you see this wick right here so in this wick it's a 15 minute order block okay 15 minute order block so what i was expecting was since overall context is bullish for 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 gu right i mean not gu us 30 this could have make a higher high because we came into here but i still wanted to see how price reacts into here because it could still go bearish you know what i mean you could get quick sales off of it and then it could push higher you know what i mean so with that being said scaling down to the five minute you can see that price ran this high here then we had a drop breaker structure then you had all these highs being created right here now this isn't like an a plus setup to me this is more like a mid mid setup you know what i mean because they didn't leave fug for me so that's the reason why i risked a little bit less on this trade right here so um when price came up right i set my sell limit right above these highs here it didn't matter where i put it i could have put it higher if i wanted to you know did, did whatever i just wanted to get in right after price took out these highs these highs here so i put my sell limit and then price had dropped around new york open it had came up did a run up and then a drop so if you look at the one minute if you look at the one minute you can see that you have a one minute order block now i could have put it like i said i could have put it on this one minute order block and then put my entry here i just wanted to get in after it ran these highs right um so you can see that new york created this this high that got ran right here okay so i entered around here and then it, it came up took out these highs right here and then had an aggressive drop all right so once it did that what i did was i moved my stops to this high because if price was to drop right it broke structure ran these highs new york open boom i'm looking for it to quickly get down here so i know that price could come up and fill in some of this inefficiency that it left on its way down to move lower but i don't expect this high to be ran right so what i did was i put my stops above that high because if it was to run this high it's more high probable for it to run my stop so why not put more probability in my favor you know what i mean to manage risk to to uh cut my losses short to you know and to make you know um the right decisions basically so that's what i did you can see that price came in right here spread did take me out but you could and it, it, it could have dropped you know what i'm saying <laughs> you hear me stutter it could have dropped and it could have came lower but you can see that price ran this high and then after it ran this high look what it did you know what i mean so you gotta think with logic while you're taking your trades and not too emotionally you know what i mean so i had a very small minimum loss um on this us 30 trade and that's what you got to do you got to figure out risk management you know the defensive side you have the offensive side everybody shows you entries um in 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 the community trading community they show you entries they show you how much R they made they show you this and this and that but they don't really go over the psychology and risk the other side risk management trade management they really don't go into that and that's what a lot of people be missing everybody got entries down but they don't have psychology they don't have uh trade management they don't have they don't have none of that you know what i mean so uh that's one thing you can get you're gonna get from me and then if other people whoever shows that that's who you need to follow and listen to more than people who just show their entries and how much 20 r 100 r that they made you know what i mean somebody who goes over psychology somebody who breaks down their trade management risk management in detail you know what i'm saying transparency they show their losses that's who you should i'm talking about like they show their losses all the time that's who you need to listen to and who not listen to but that's who you need to follow up. everybody else if you just see them posting wins back to back to back to back to back to back to back with one to tens and one to twenties and one pip stop loss to two pip they're not going to do no good for you trust me i already been through that my i have friends that already went through that you know what i mean and they <laughs> friends that friends that um used to trade with two pip stop losses and aim for one to tens now they now they do one to threes and you know, one to two is partials and you know what i'm saying they have a not not too high of a win percentage you know what i'm saying and they're profitable and they're making money you know what i mean um i don't really don't know their their win percentage but i know mine so my win percentage ain't that high i went two weeks without losing um 
for like the past two weeks but now i'm on like a three um three trade losing streak but all managed risk one was a full percent stop out but the other two were managed and i cut my losses short so um but yeah sorry i went on a little rant right there <laughs> but yeah um i going off it of, uh i think us 30 is going to do next um i still think it could could go higher uh you do have low resistance highs right here i don't know since we took out this high right here we came down here i think we could push higher so um that's that's what i'm gonna look for a little bit more looking at it right now where it's doing right now i don't know you know what i mean we came and we broke this low right here we have low resistance liquidity right here but you know oh actually i think we took that out by this week yeah we took that out by this week so i really don't know i gotta see what price i need more data you know what i mean i need more data i think it could go higher and make a higher high so let's see let's see what context we could get off of that if i do want to buy if i do want to buy it's gonna have to be below all of this into into here you know what i mean or 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 uh maybe maybe lower maybe lower i don't know what's the discount yeah it could be in here i don't know you know what i mean because if it fails to make a higher high like i said it's off this four hour order block right here that that it made this drop from and it's coming back maybe to mitigate to push lower that's maybe possibly you know what i mean but we'll see i'll see what happens i really don't know at this point because this is what i'm dealing with <laughs> you know what i mean inside of this four hour block so we'll see what happens with us 30 uh go let's do go so looking at gold i want to see price come down here if i am gonna buy that's what i want to see now um if i'm gonna sell i want to see sales above these highs right here above these highs maybe to come into here i know this is like the daily four hour um so if you like scale down to the 15 minute you have this very small complex uh type pullback so um if you don't want to aim for the super 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 uh discount i said super like three times super discount then i could pay attention i'm gonna pay attention to this um fair value gap right here with a potential breaker that's uh, this liquidity here so if i draw that out i'm gonna pay attention to this see what price does no buy limits no sell li limits um, because this isn't my type of setup i just pay attention to these areas and see if my setup will occur on um, a lower confirmation time frame you know what i mean so and that's what i look for inside of this area if i get some good that'll be nice because you can see how prices you know what i'm saying very the momentum is very slow and it's building this type of you know what i'm saying trend line action on a on a lower time frame you know what i mean so it's building that up to run this is just my what i think you know what i mean this is what i've seen it's building it up building all that up so it has liquidity to run after it mitigates and to go higher right to go higher you know what i mean so that's what i'm looking at for us i'm um, not us 30 for gold in short um and i think that's all that i'm gonna go over i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this weekly outlook and that short short trade breakdown you know what i mean there's no price action in it i did record the video for the price action but i'm only gonna post the ones that i win but i'll go over the ones that i lost you know what i mean i don't want to edit too much and put too much time into editing for something that i lost you know what i mean so <laughs> so uh yeah so i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week I'm, uh, i might go over uh do it like a midweek uh, uh zoom or uh, telegram where everybody you know go over things questions and uh other pairs and we just chill together and shit and you feel me and just you know what i'm saying get with it you know what i mean so yeah like i was saying um go ahead and like like if you want to uh subscribe if you want to send this to your friends you know what i'm saying it helps me um build my youtube and my channel and all that so if you guys really fuck with me go ahead and do that um with all that being said i'm out bro peace